a rite of passage for many, the great Australian school trip to the national capital. In a normal year, 170,000 students stream through these hallowed halls. Can you point where you're from? Well, way up there. Now all is quiet, and the cost of that is huge. We estimate by the end of June, we will have lost maybe up to 60,000 kids who won't have come on that school visit. Normally a $130 million industry, it's been about two months since the last paying customer. Specialty accommodation providers have plenty of beds to fill. This site here at our corner is completely shut down. We've um, locked the doors, shut off the fridges, turned off the electricity about it, um, uh, six weeks ago. While JobKeeper is helping, it may not be enough. We went from running around about 45 staff um, through both permanent and casual staff to, to now. The big hope is that students will return in term three, but flights may be too expensive when airlines resume regular services. We're confident that we will return, um, but we will definitely be returning in a different look and a different feel to what it was beforehand. Like many national institutions, Old Parliament House is finding a new way to stay in touch. As we head on up into the museum. With online excursions. It's really important for students to come to us physically or virtually so we can immerse them in their civics and citizenship learning. But there's nothing quite like walking the halls of history yourself. And there's no doubt there will be smiles all round when the students return. It feels like the guests aren't coming to your home anymore. There's a real sense of loss. It's that chance to spend time with your friends. It's the you know, late night gossips, the group meals, all of those things which you know, we all remember as kids. It's still very much alive. Waiting for another chance to make memories that will last a lifetime. Holly Tregenza, ABC News, Canberra.